Well, back at Fenway tied up 2 2. 12 year old Paris Princeton is joining us from West Brookfield. How are you tonight? Good. It's great to see you. Thank you. How do you feel? Great. Right now you are you are fighting osteosarcoma. Can you tell us what that is? It is bone cancer. It is bone cancer. When were you diagnosed? Hmm. I was diagnosed for osteosarcoma um, on uh, October 30th, 2015. Wow, the exact date. Obviously, that's that's right at the tip of your tongue. That's amazing. Can you talk to us a little bit about your your treatment and what you're going through right now? Well, actually, I just finished. You did. I did. Congratulations. Thank you. Outstanding. So you feel wonderful. And yes. About that. Good for you. Jerry and I are both really happy for you. This isn't the first time, however, that you were a patient at Dana Farber, right? Yes. It also happened back in 2005 with another form of cancer. Yes. And it was neuroblastoma stage four. Yes, and. You were diagnosed in 2005. You came home from daycare with a bump on your head, right? Mm -hmm. And nobody knew what it was because you hadn't gotten, you know, into a, a fight with anybody. You hadn't fallen out of a tree. You didn't get hit or anything like that. Yep. And that's and, and obviously everybody knew something was wrong. But that's over with. Mm -hmm. That's done with. But um, because of the treatment from the first time, that ended up on my left pelvis, and I had. Um, osteosarcoma, which is um, what I got from my first right, treatment. Right. Yeah. Now, uh, somebody, somebody tells me, and, and I don't know if this is true or not, that you want to attend Harvard someday. Yes. Is that true? Yes. You're that smart? Yeah, <laughs> I believe you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah she, she is. Uh, what are you going to study at Harvard? Well, I want to try and find a cure for cancer. That's wonderful. That is absolutely wonderful. Here's a, another pretty picture of you. I love your glasses, by the way. Thank you. But well, today's a big day for you and a, a, your dad just brought you downstairs a little while ago. Yep. The gentleman with a big smile on his face. You know. Guess that's true of everybody in the family with you right now. Mm -hmm. Now there was an MRI that revealed over 30 masses in your legs. That, that's incredible. And they scheduled that biopsy right away and discovered what it was. This was your previous cancer. Yes. So you've been fighting and fighting and fighting. You're you're quite a warrior. Thank you. Now tell me, how did you enjoy spring training this year? Hmm. Did you enjoy the trip to Florida? I didn't go to Florida. You didn't go to Florida this year? You weren't in spring training? No. All right. So that one we have to take off our list. Line shot into the alley. Shaw got a hold of one that'll bounce up into the stands and the Ramirez will be held at third base. It'll be two bases for Travis Shaw and Paris to bring in the Red Sox a little bit of luck here. Yes. Swinging the bats. Yeah Travis Shaw did his job in his first at bat by moving a runner over to third base this time the ground rule double. So the Red Sox trying to have a big inning with second and third and nobody out as they work down toward the bottom of the the batting order. Now your osteosarcoma is not common. We read that each year only about 800 new cases are diagnosed in the United States. Most of those are children and teens. And most of them occur in children young adults between the ages of 10 and 30. So we're so happy that you are you are through your treatments. What happens from here on out. Do you get to be just a normal kid finally. Yes. Yes, I do. Come to the ball game and enjoy yourself. Play your piano. You're a musician as well. Yes. I, my my bet is you're going to Harvard. Thank you. They'd be lucky to have you. <laughs> be very very lucky to have you. And a hat. You're rocking the hat, and it's the same one you're wearing in our in our booth tonight. And originally we put the headphones on. Jerry said, "I want you to wear the hat because the hat is outstanding. It's a beautiful hat. This is great. You're terrific. Thanks so much for visiting with us." You're welcome. And obviously this is a big day for the Jimmy Fund and for Dana Farber. Yes. As we continue to take donations and pledges. And I know that when our viewers get a look at you they'll go right to the telephone and, and make their pledge immediately. So thanks for helping us so much. I hope lots of people donate. <laughs> thanks Paris. Appreciate it very much. You're welcome. Congratulations. Thank you.
She's a sweetie. Paris Prince, at 12 years old, from West Brookfield, as it's fouled away at home plate here by Chris Young. Red Sox in a 2 2 tie. They're trying to untie it right now. Here's the tote board, by the way, at over a million dollars raised today. It's a great start. Total's going to go a lot higher than that. Paris still has a huge smile on her face when she sees that number. 